Are you ready for my picks this week? Ooh, what do you got? All right. What we're about to do right now. Rich's NFL Picks. Okay, okay. Are we all ready for my picks here? I'm going to give you three road teams. I'm going to give you three road teams. Starting with Sunday Night Football, uh, the Rams are going to come in and I think bring the Browns a little bit back down to earth. Uh, the Rams are by far the best team that the Browns have faced this year. Uh, they're going to come in uh, from coast to coast and come into Cleveland and see potentially a banged up secondary. I saw Greedy Williams is out with a hamstring injury. He's a couple of uh, defensive backs that are sitting out practice today uh, with a hamstring injury. Um, and I understand Miles Garrett is a game record. This offensive line is a totally different beast than the one that the Jets put out in front of quarterbacks that put together aren't even uh, close to Jared Goff's level of talent. And uh, there is also a number 99 in your program, number one in the Los Angeles heart. That's part of a defense that I think will give Baker Mayfield fits throughout the night. Uh, I like the Rams to win this game uh, in uh, in Cleveland. That's one of my home, uh, one of my road games. Here's another one. I was going to make this the unluckiest lock of the week, but I just say I like it, period. I like the Saints to go into Seattle and shock everybody and beat the Seahawks. Really? I do, man. Sean Payton is taking this Drew Brees injury and uh, void. He is taking this, I think, not personally against Drew Brees, but personally that everybody believes, ah, well, Teddy can't do it, and that's the end of the Saints season, or the Saints, there there goes, oh, whoa, whoa are the Saints? Nah, not with this guy. And I'm telling you, Taysom Hill is the quarterback we should all be focusing on, not Teddy Bridgewater. Bridgewater will get, if you will, the snaps with the ones in practice, but we're going to see a ton of Taysom Hill. And 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 the way that you can also know this is if they activate JT Barrett off of the practice squad in time for this game. All right? They might not do that, and Peyton will just say, to hell with it anyway. Let's just keep Taysom Hill in the same role. And the defense is terrific. I really like the Saints' defense, and uh, they're going to try and make Russell win it with his arm, and who's going to catch passes? Who's going to catch it? I like the Saints. Now for my unluckiest lock of the week. Hit it. And now it's time for Rich Eisen's unluckiest lock of the week. Yes. And you just heard it right there. I get hooked on a feeling. I'm not going to give you this, that, the other thing. I just get a feeling. It hits me in the gut. A little AM gold, Rich. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) I get a little AM gold. And this is where I just feel it. The last two, the first two unluckiest locks of the week, I'm 0-2 on them. But, man, have I come close. Close. Colts lost in overtime in Los Angeles against the Chargers week one. Jacksonville wound up an inch shy of Mm. beating the Texans in Houston. Daniel Jones is going to win his first game as a start. I hear you, Brockman. I feel you. You said it. I laid it out I'm yesterday. I'm with you. Okay. Dave Brown came here yesterday. Welcome aboard. He was all in on this kid. So am I. Daniel Jones is going to take it for the New York Giants <laughs> in his first career start and just absolutely stick it where the sun does not shine in everybody's pie hole or orifice or whatever that talked about him not being deserving of the number six overall pick in the draft. I like it. That's my unlockiest lock of the week. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.